Welcome back, baby. We are on episode 12. 12. Holy smoke balls. Of the... Oprah's open mic. Or all you guys know is called the oom. And Sean brought a safari hat because he's confused. We are talking about like going into the holiday season. It Sean thinks my we're outfit. going to hang out with the giraffes and lions. He's a little wrong today. But it does match. So good for you. Mm-hmm. You're not colorblind, so match. that's good. I know how to match. A plus. And these are our sweatshirts that we just launched last week. Ooh, so we're in the holiday can... spirit. It's coming up quick. Oh, yes. Yeah. So if you guys want to grab one, they are on. Aaron Oprah Basics. But we're here to talk all about holidays. Like holiday, like we're coming up on the busy season. Everybody knows. It's it's the, it's the, it's the eat heavy, eat fat season, season, and it's tough. It is tough. It's the casserole season. It's the football, like tailgating parties. Mm. It's football season. It's chicken Halloween. Chicken wings and beer. Chicken wings and beer. I mean, I'm not going to knock some chicken wings. I don't care about beer, but chicken wings. Mm-hmm, so we're here to talk about just how to stay on track while yet enjoying the goodies and stay moderation. Stay tuned. We're about to talk about healthy eating. Stick with us. <laughs> Stick with us. You, you need guys, this. You need this. Yeah. So it isn't easy. I mean, this is the time that one, we're all covered up, so we care a lot less about our bodies. <laughs> I love that. Season. Isn't it kind of crazy? It's like when it gets cold, we're like, it's like bears. We hibernate. We're, we're like, stay bit. inside and let's eat all the casseroles. It's true. It's what we all naturally want to do. But let's try to fight about fight against it some. Not saying that you have to get rid of the casserole. There's some amazing casseroles out there. Why are you stuck have... on casseroles? Because When's the last time we had a casserole? Why are squash... you bringing up casseroles? Spaghetti squash casserole. Mm. One of my <laughs> favorites. It's a spaghetti squash lasagna casserole. So good. It's pretty good. And you, you do love that, so don't judge me. But casseroles are great during the season. They're quick, they're easy, and they're comfort foods. So this is the season of comfort foods. And Christmas is a season of parties and Halloween is a season of candy. So you know what we did with our kids for uh, speaking of Halloween? Every year they got what was called when, after they got back from trick-or-treating. Except for one year. I'll tell you what happened one year. They got what was called a candy of the day. So every day after school, they come home and they like, can we have our candy of the day? And they get to pick one piece of candy out of their bag. And then the next Halloween, we throw away whatever was left. Literally all year. They <laughs> it was have all a year going into piece of candy. candy bags. Yeah. Can we have our candy of the day? But one year we didn't we didn't do that. And we just kind of let them have a free for all. And, and also, I mean, that was like a special treat for them because they knew they knew it was coming. They knew the, the candy they had from Halloween. But it's not like we didn't have dessert maybe if we went out to eat or they didn't have pizza. Like They ate regularly. Oh, yeah, for sure. Right? We, but that they was just very on balanced. top. Of, yeah. On yeah. top of a like a normal lifestyle outside of that. It wasn't like that's the only sugar you're allowed to have. No. I, do want, to, I want to make sure everybody knows <laughs> no, that. No, we weren't. Th- and we just got them I mean, super excited. I mean, that would have been cool if we were that it got good them super of a parent. Oh, we no, were not. No, no. We no, were we were great parents. They were just horrible kids that they would want more than you're one so piece of candy bullish. a day. Yeah, I, whatever. Listen. But one year we let them kind of have all they wanted and they were so sick. Oh, it was great. It was, it was great. One of those, they never I, won. I told you so. <laughs> and they never want to do it again. But that's what we're here to talk about is how do we stay on track Some while tips still and tricks. enjoying. Yeah, tips, tips and tricks. I like that. Tips, tips and, and trick or treat. Trick or treat. So first things first, never go to a get together hungry. Number one thing I have learned if I'm hungry, I have no self-control. That is the majority of us. That's going to a restaurant. If you go to a restaurant and you're starving, you're less likely to choose a healthier item. You're going to choose whatever looks good. And portion control is out of the window because you're starving and every your eyes are so big. You're like, I'm getting everything. We're getting appetizers. Yeah. We're getting dessert. Food getting can't all. come quick enough. The appetizers, yeah. you order two instead of one. You order you more. You eat more than you would have. You uh, order the bigger meal. You also get dessert. If you go with at least something in your stomach, it works. And also, right, you can have something very healthy before you go. And so that everything you're eating that might not be as healthy and you should go enjoy yourself at this restaurant if you go out to eat or you go out with family and friends or you meet up for uh, like a get together. You should have those fun foods, but you can make sure that you have your healthiest food before you go. I think the trick for that is to drink a protein shake before you go. That's That's a hard one. That's a hard one for most people to do. Why is that hard? It's so easy. You shake, chug, go out to eat. By the time you get to the restaurant... Or wherever you're it's going, a, it's a you're great not option. as hungry. It's yeah, so, it's that's, my, that's the key for me. If I do that before I go out to eat, it saves me. 
the, the, I'm not full. Like a protein yeah, shake does doesn't make me up. full. It just makes me content. So that's actually really, really like most people think protein shakes are only if you work out. Um, like I, I, I'm going to go out, I am only going to have that protein shake right after I work out or it's for super like athletics, uh, people or whatever. No, that's not necessarily true at all. Um, you, this, this is one of the greatest ways that we use the protein shakes. And also, um, it's also like she said, it, it doesn't quite fill you up, right? It makes you content. So it when you get you out content. to eat, I can say, you know what? I'm gonna we're gonna order an appetizer, and I'm gonna have a little bit of that. But I can also choose a healthier meal, and then I'm good with passing with dessert. Very rarely do I get dessert out right. to eat. And so I think that's something a pitfall that some people fall into when they have a protein shake or maybe even a smoothie, and they have a full meal's worth of say protein and everything, but they don't feel satisfied. They don't feel full, and so they go eat an absolutely full meal after that, and they kind of double up. You got to be careful of that. You got to have a nice balance of it. You do, right? Like, like a pro- yeah. It depends on your protein shake. If your protein shake has a ton of carbs in it, then you've just basically had a, let's call it more of a meal replacement protein shake. My protein shake doesn't have the carbs in it, and it's great to just give me a little satisfaction, slight satisfaction, and then move on. But here's the other thing. When you're going to get togethers, gatherings, football, whatever, or you're doing like potluck thing for Halloween when the whole neighborhood gets together, take something to share that you feel good about eating. Maybe it's a chili. Take a healthier dish, a healthier dish. There's like some great. You know nobody's bringing mm-hmm. something healthy. If you're trying to stay on track, you're trying to keep that discipline going, you so, know you can't count on anybody else but yourself. You have this. You have this. Stick with it. Make so, something. So bring something. There's so many delicious, healthy recipes. I actually just made a really cool Halloween one that is like tomatoes, and I took the mozzarella, little mozzarella balls and shoved them into little silicone pans that are shaped as like skeletons and stuff. And you could take that, and you got like a little festive meal. You can enjoy that. And then eat smaller portions of the goodies. So I'm not saying don't eat them. Yeah, this is what you keep really saying is that go out to eat, go to these things, have those things, but I mean, have smaller I do, portions. But I watch portion control. I can't stress that enough. <laughs> portion controls are a must. If you have a piece of pizza or maybe even two pieces of pizza, you're fine. I used to eat a whole large at a sitting. Like, <laughs> when, That's the girl I married. You know what I mean? So like That's the, the girl I want back. <laughs> back in the day when we were dating, I was like, I just can't get as lean as I wanted to. And I was eating so clean Monday through Friday, Monday through Friday afternoon. Super clean. Never cheated. Never. It's not really called cheating. Never indulged. Worked out every day. And I just didn't get to where I wanted to be. I could not lean down. You know what happened? All week, I leaned out, right? I would lose weight. And then the weekend hit. I gained every bit of that back. And so Monday, I'd start again. And that happened every All week. puffy. And, and I wasn't weekend, eating. Yeah. When I say I ate bad, it would we would really have one bad night. Yeah, and it right. would be, but I my portion control was so insanely bad. I'd have like two glasses of wine, a whole large pizza, and a dessert. And that's really the only bad thing I had that weekend. But that one huge portion took all the weight I had lost and put it right back on. And so what happened is I always stayed the same. I didn't go up and I didn't go down. She still looked great. Yeah, you but great. I did. But there was, a, there was a little puff to it. There and was a I little did. like catching back up after the next week to get yeah. as sharp a, as you wanted to be. And my gas. Whew. It yeah, you, you too did a lot. <laughs> Anytime I, if I overeat, that it makes me fart. Does anyone else Every have that? Every single drive. Every single drive, this woman would fart. It was just a family like joke that one day she did not fart, and the family noticed. On the way noticed, to soccer, and the family noticed, and the kids in the back seat in elementary or whatever, I don't know how old they were. They're like, "Mom, you didn't fart." Good Lord, I know I, I was bad, but I'm much better now. I mean, I'm no, still. Yeah, 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 I don't. You were really never. Think. You were never bad. You've oh. hon- you've honed in. No, you've honed in. You've always looked amazing. No, I'm talking about farting. I'm not as bad farting oh. now. Oh. That is true statement. That is true. Ooh. Okay. I have a question. Ooh, excuse me. I have a question for you, though. All right. So we're talking about portion control. We're talking about eating before you go out. What is your favorite thing to take to, say, let's call it a potluck, right, where everybody brings a dish, and you said, well, bring a healthy dish for, to share so that you know what you brought, that you can eat this and know you can be healthy, and then also take the little tidbits of all that. Like there's... What's your go-to? I already have. I have one. Hey. You're going to talk about the spinach salad. Heck yes, I'm yeah. talking about the There's spinach, a spinach salad. salad. It's really good. 
But I always like to, like, you could do like a good meatball, something where you get a lot of protein and not a ton of sugar. You can put lots of seasonings on it and you could take dipping sauces if you wanted to. Sauces so, are going to catch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can put the dipping the sauces good, yeah, good on sauces the side, um, like a good protein. So you actually feel satisfied. If you just eat a salad. Tell them no about meat. the salad. Tell them about the so salad. So it's a big spinach salad. We put feta in there, sliced strawberries. So there's fat-free feta out there. Right. And I, I so a, lot, a lot of cheese heads are going to be like, no, that's the word. No, you got to get the we do use fat. It fat free. But it's mixed in a salad. There's a lot of other flavors that fat free feta is beautiful. It actually is great. Yeah. So we do that. Slice strawberries and then we'll make these almonds, strawberries, are sliced killer. almonds. And we put them in the oven and we add a little bit of spray some spray some um, avocado oil, a little bit of brown sugar and cayenne pepper. We make oh, our own a, toasted almonds yeah, is what and she's saying, them. and they're, and they're beautiful. so good. And you could even do that and add some grilled chicken and take that to share, and people devour yeah, it. Really there's do. usually nothing else like they that. Really there's do. other people that want to be healthy, but there's usually not those kind of options at, yeah. at get-togethers. But there's so many things. like Ask me. Ask me. Ask okay. me what I would bring. What would you bring? You just, All right, so— I love, I've got three main dishes that I just have perfected over my years of the potluck, but probably one of my favorite they're ones. They're simple. They're all simple. I love simple, but I, I have, I have rules to these dishes, but one, probably my healthiest of the three would be the uh, veggie tray. And you can, you can just bring veggies and some, and ranch, but here's the ticket. Okay. I like to make it pretty. I like to make it uh, a, a, as pleasing to the eye and to the palate, all right? And my veggie trays kill, all right? So I do is I try People not to— People have already left because they're like, there's only no, so much you I've can do got, with a veggie I've, tray. I grabbed them in. I'm bringing them in You're for the not. veggie tray. The Easter Bunny one was cute, but the rest of them— No, I mean, that's they're... the fruit tray. Oh, that was no, fruit. Get off. This is mine, okay? We don't need an hour you, long you, of uh, your uh, vegetable you the, tray. You... Okay. All right, so— what you do is you, I try not to repeat a color. And so that the tray has like carrots come in this all kinds of hour. like rainbow colors. Uh, like try not to repeat a green or try not to repeat reds. And it's hard to do. And then I always try and find a surprising flavor. Like I'll buy radishes. Now, who thinks a radish is going to be on a, fe a vegetable tray? Nobody. Or Nobody I slice up them. jalapenos and get a little spicy action for the dip. That's it. That's important. You put a little thought into it. And at minimum, two dips. I make one sort of like a cashew hummus kind of maybe dip, and the other one is usually kind of a ranch or ranch. John will talk something. forever about something Yes, because my veggie so trays are amazing. It and if you guys knew me, you'd be like, Sean, you're right. Right, and most of it comes back with you because you're the only one. You and I are the only ones that really Don't eat it. Even. It's okay, but they are tasty, but it's literally cut up veggies and dips. And he took an hour to tell you guys that. It was not but an let's hour. talk about let's talk about some other little tricks. So when you're at parties, don't stand around the food. If you stand around the food, it is impossible to not keep picking. It is impossible, at least for me. I'm I'm sure a lot of you guys are there too. So have a little bit, put it on your plate, walk away. And then when you know you've had enough eating and you're like, I, I know I've either stuffed myself too much and I really need to stop, but there's something that is just, you cannot, you can't stop, you're just gravitated to it and you just want to eat and eat and eat and eat. That, that's me when there's something I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so hard. You know what I do is I put gum in my mouth because when you have gum in your mouth, you have that mint flavor. It will stop you. So once, and I'm not saying don't do that so you don't eat anything. That's dumb. I want you to enjoy it, but when you've had enough and you know you've had enough and you just cannot stop yourself, that is a great trick. Or you can lose it, use those Listerine st strips. You can put those, list, you know, those ones that you yeah. like, slide the little thing out and you stick those in your mouth. Those will ruin the flavor of everything. So if you're like, I have to stop eating, but I have zero self-control. You, you need to work on your portion control. Find something will ruin the flavor of every dish at that party. It will ruin the flavor of everything you try to eat after that. And then here's another one. When you're drinking, you have a glass of wine. Now, remember, a glass of wine is not actually a full wine glass. That I'm, is, I'm in favor of never having wine, but there's a lot of people Me too. I'm not a wine person. But if you drink wine. I don't. So what? what drink small. Straight tequila. Just kidding. But no, if you drink wine or whatever alcohol is, have a have a drink. Remember, wine glass is actually like a small portion of that. And then have a glass of water. So one that will keep you hydrated. When you're hydrated, you feel better the next day, which is a huge thing. But also it slows you down from drinking. So you're not doing one after another, after another, after another. Because you know what else alcohol does? 
you lose all self control with your eating. Don't ruin everything... all your hard work. You could put a lot of hard work during that. Yeah, week. you yeah. put, uh, but it does. It ruins. It ruins your your path that you're not your path that on it doesn't ruin it. It slows it down for sure. If you're like, man, I've been so good all week. And you go to one party and you just like blow it out the window. Yeah, you ruined it and you messed up. <laughs> you did and Aaron not. and I are disappointed in you and you could have done better. Okay, listen, listen, you could have done better. We're going to help you so you guys don't do what I used to do all the time. So we're going to go enjoy small portions. So have a glass of wine or a tequila or whatever it might be and then have your glass of water. So you slow yourself down. Try to limit yourself to two drinks. You guys are about to throw something at me right now. <laughs> My rule of thumb is two drinks a week for me. A week. I don't know if you heard that. A week. Sometimes I have them both in one night. But, I mean, you're disciplined. You're, you guys are all. I mean, you, you, you absolutely kill it. You look amazing. And the discipline that you have for that two drinks a week is amazing. And it shows. So there is that. Yes. And I was choking. Sorry. I was it, chugging that coffee. <laughs> so I had to chug a cup of coffee because I don't <laughs> yeah. have any water. At least it's cold coffee. That was really bad. But your coffee's sweet, Sean. Oh. I'm a sweet guy. And most of the time. Depends on the day you ask. Um, let's go let's go over some other ticks. I didn't ask you. I, I said ticks. <laughs> Tricks. <laughs> give every give everybody right. a tip. So um you're the expert here. All right. So we're at a party. And I have a, a an array of drinks to have. Are there healthier options for alcohol? And what, how would you rank them? Uh, I don't. So a lot of people like to think wine is healthy. Wine is not your friend. As much as you guys might think it's your friend, it is not. There is not many health benefits to wine. You know, actually, one of our friends just started this new drink. It's called, and I'm not promoting it. I'm still trying to decide how much I like it. Is it affect me? It affects Sean differently than it affected me. But I have only tried it one time, so I need to try it some more times to have an opinion. But it's CBD. It's legal, though. It's like a CBD... Um, I think Delta 9, I believe. Delta, Delta 9 10. drink. They they do mail it. But what it does is it gives you the same... He said it will make me feel the same as if I had a tequila with zero calories, and the next day you'll have zero feeling that you did anything. It's called Hourglass. Yeah, it's called and, Hourglass. So we're still... And so you basically, uh, you would take a drop of this or a, a, a small serving of it, and you would put it into a glass that has no alcohol, and um, it would be a slow uh, onset of something similar as if you had a glass of alcohol, uh, except it doesn't. And so it doesn't dehydrate you like alcohol, and it doesn't it affect doesn't you long you term. It next doesn't day. leave you foggy. And that's the whole point of our glass. And so we're curious on it, and we were listening to our friend, and we love him, and so we're willing to listen. And we've not really ever messed with anything like that. So, we're not. So we are actually as far oddly. as options go, there's a lot of options. Wine. However, it's kind of at the bottom of our choice list no, as far as like very health, bottom. right? Not, yeah. And not like, I mean, you like the flavor, that's on you. Um, but yeah. But we are not sitting here promoting that. It's just something to try. Maybe there's, I think yeah, there's we had other a question, brands. We had a question about mocktails and that's along the oh, same Oh, that would be kind of like a mocktail. It, it, not quite, but, but yeah. It's along I'm not the same a lines. weed person. Like we don't do weed. We are oddly. We weed only people. do shrooms. <laughs> Never tried those. Actually, we're in, I'm kidding. I smoked weed two times in my life. I was 16 years old, and I we was just at do gold. Cocaine. <laughs> no, we I'm don't. kidding. I'm kidding. Someone's gonna think that's true. <laughs> but I smoked it when I was 16, and and I threw up. And they're like, "Oh, you have to do it two days in a row for it to work." I was like, "Okay." And so I smoked it again the next day. Threw up. Never touched another drug in my life. That was the extent. 16 years old, and, <laughs> and so this one, he's like, "Just try it." I was like, "I'm so scared to try it." Yeah. And it literally didn't. The yeah. first time didn't do anything. He said it's probably because your we, body's reacting. We scared from. me to death when I was a teenager. Absolutely. And now, like, probably won't do meth. <laughs> I'm kidding. But Sean did get a little buzz off it. So for me, I'm a tequila drinker. I like straight tequila on the rocks, no mixer. No, I'm not shooting it. I like to sip it slow and steady. And I feel like that gives me the satisfaction. It gives me a good little buzz. It takes like one and I'm like, ooh, my lips are numb. My fingers are numb. And that's about then sometimes I have two, but normally just i think lately just been one yeah you haven't yeah we're we got too much going on we just don't even go out <laughs> we don't go out lately we are today we're going back out though yeah we're, we're going in, back out the world's about to s slow down once we get this house done um let's so get... uh, so uh, as far as mocktails 
legitimately without any additives, what would you suggest as a good mocktail? You know, I've never made a mocktail in my life, so I'm probably the last person to ask how to make them. I don't know what goes. Uh, I don't make my, cocktails. My go-to is anything that you enjoy in a rocks glass. I, I, I mean, then that's the bottom line of it, right? Isn't like it the just idea like... of a mocktail is that it just looks like an, a cocktail. Uh, so if like you want to look like you have a cocktail, then that's all it needs to look like. If you like Diet Coke, you just Put it in a rocks glass, and there you go. Uh, so um, I know we had one question about that, and that's my my go to. So instead of a vodka soda, I would just get like cranberry and water uh, in, on rocks in a rocks glass, and it looks like a drink. But drinks nowadays have come in all colors and all sizes. So it, I think yeah. it's just isn't a mocktail just to look festive and like you're holding yeah. something. Yeah. That's space. Make it pretty. Yeah. Put some pretty garnishes on it. Make it feel like you actually are doing something. I'm not a drink person. Like I literally don't care about any drinks. I'm a water. I only care to get blasted. I just, that's the only reason I drink. I'm kidding. He's lying. I'm kidding. You guys, if you guys listen to Sean on this, you're going to think we're the worst people. He's terrible. Holy smoke balls. In public, we are horrible people. Well, you are. You are. All right. So the answer to drinking is to not mix a bunch of sugar. As everyone knows. I mean, that's not, that's not rocket science. Don't mix a bunch of sugar. sugar. In you know who told me that? The 4 by 4 Diet, this woman I absolutely adore wrote. She's a published author. She wrote this book called The 4 by 4 Diet. Who's that? And it's amazing. It's it's off, It's uh, by Aaron uh, D. Opria, okay? And it talks about reducing sugar. It's one of the fours in the 4 by 4 It is one of the four. fours. If you guys haven't read that, that's literally how I live my life every day. It's also how I teach my clients to do the same thing. And it's the meal plan that's in my pretty much stuff. That's how it is. All right. All right. I want to get back on track, though, as yep. far as holiday season. I apologize. Yep. Uh, if you're going somewhere, no, go at it. No, let's go. go. Okay. So we're coming up on, like, the candy season, right? Um, what would you suggest as a healthy alternative to, say, a Twix, right? Like, a, 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 like that easy go-to you unwrapped know what? Eat. What, I don't would, have what a would Twix. you suggest? I don't have a Twix one, but I have a delicious raw, and don't lose me on the word raw, it's a peanut butter. We take it to parties, and it is a huge hit. When I say huge, it's gone immediately. You know what I'm talking about? I do. The, it's raw on the bottom. It's got like dates. It's like we haven't been married for 15 years. I've made do you know it what we're talking million. about? Yeah, like, we take it to every party, and we enjoy it thoroughly. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? That dessert, you guys have to make it. It's on my Instagram. I haven't posted it in a long time. I have posted it several times. But it's also in my book, The 4x4 Diet. I take Which it. Which you can find at AaronOprey.com. But no, seriously, if you make one recipe, the spaghetti squash one is in there too. Um, Spaghetti squash lasagna is in there, but it is so good. So on the top, I don't remember the ingredients. It's been a little while since I made it. uh, The bottom is like dates and peanuts and something in it. And then you smash it really good. And then you make the peanut butter layer. And it is insane. So that would be a good alternative, but it's still got sugar. Just because it's natural sugar doesn't mean it's not sugar. So they're it's like, okay. They're like chocolate peanut butter bars. Yeah. 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 I like a Reese's cup. No. It's not like a Reese's cup. It's like a Reese's cup. <laughs> it's delicious, but what's the worst? The worst. It's peanut butter. Worst. If it's peanut butter, it's like Reese's. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Quick. What's the best Reese's cup? Keto. What? No. The oh keto. My God, just no. I, the best. Like I, I give her this layup. You know what I mean? Like she's the easiest Reese's answer cup. known to man. No, no if you want no. a can- pumpkin Reese's cups oh, because the peanut good. butter like those, to actually. chocolate ratio is sweet. on par. There's instead of the regular Reese's cup, you got a little bit extra chocolate and the and the uh, or sorry, a little bit extra peanut butter. That cream of peanut butter and the chocolate's reduced and the the ratio gets insane. Everybody knows Christmas tree Reese's cups, pumpkin Reese's cups. Or the eggs at Easter. They're the best. And there's only one answer. And you were so fast and so wrong. But if you want something similar to that, the Think Bar has this keto. It's the Keto Think Creamy Peanut Butter. Protein Bar. Protein Bar. And they are really good. They remind me of the Reese's Cups. So if you guys actually want to try those, yeah, don't She they... also said that the try dates, the, <laughs> the date peanut butter bar uh, it tastes like a Reese's Cup. It doesn't. It's delicious. Close, close enough. Oh, so it. let's, let's, let's wrap some stuff up. The key takeaway on this, take something to share that you can feel good about eating so you eat the goodies in moderation. Take some Listerine strips or some gum with you so you don't overeat. Now, with your alcohol, have a glass of wine, have your alcohol, 
enjoy some water between so you slow yourself down. I like to do a full bottle of water, like a 20 ounce bottle of water before I go to my next drink. And then um, before you go out to things, don't go hungry. You will not, you will lose all self-control. That, I think that is the, honestly that is the, the, the best one you've ever had. Yeah. Don't go hungry. If you want to eat your full, like sometimes we eat our full dinner, which is our normal salad with the ground turkey on it. We'll eat that. And then we go out. So then we'll just have a little bit or share yeah, an appetizer and we're good. By the time food actually hits the table, it's like at yeah. least an hour later. Yeah. Right? Like it, the food's settled, but nonetheless, we're not completely full. It's been a little bit. And, and it works really well. That does. That works really and well. And then you get um, leftovers to bring home and you can have it for later. Yeah. So it's like you're eating at restaurants several days in a row. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> leftovers do not last long in my fridge. He eats them all. Um, so those are kind of the wrap-ups on this. And... Uh, let us know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys find yeah. this helpful. There's there's simple things that really can have a huge impact. And use this not only for going out. Use this for your weekends. Don't ruin everything you did all week where you lean down and you're like, I feel great. And then you just way overindulge. Use your weekends to go do great all week, right? Have weekends. Have a glass of wine. You don't need to be a hero and rescue that whole bottle of wine. Have a glass of wine, have a piece of pizza, and then eat healthy. And I promise you, the results will come is on your over on your indulging days. If you indulge in small portions, because I still indulge, I eat Moderation, very small. Baby, yeah. I eat very small portions of the goodies, and I eat big portions of my normal food. And that is where I truly got my results. So if you guys want to kick it and still enjoy everything, this like kick it and actually get the results you want through this season and stick with it, eat the goodies in small portions. And if you're going to something every night, then you got to pick and choose. Okay, this one, I'm really not going to indulge this night because I'm going to plan this one's going to be really cool. This is the one I want to indulge. If you indulge every night, it gets out of control. Because right now, we well, not yet, but it's coming in on the season where it's going to be party after party after party. And okay. then kids have this well, and kids have that. And- uh, what, what percentage more can you indulge if you plan on dancing that night? And we get small portions. No, no, but, but I dancing want a percentage is your- more if you're going to work it off. None. By... By boogie woogie oogie. No, none, because you know what that means? <clears throat> then every <clears throat> oh, show us how it's done, buddy. But then <clears throat> everything <throat> you did indulge on, you burn off and it's a win win, right? That's awesome. So and may maybe that's another thing. Like, see if you can dance. We love to go out and dance and have fun. I do. I think it's so fun. <laughs> I enjoy it. Yeah. We love going dancing. So we enjoy, we burn off all of our tequila because it's like one, maybe two. So um, so I hope you guys Good got something this from season. this. Take it through the season for, with you. Um, make some delicious recipes to share with everybody. Go through make, our Instagram. You're always putting really up fun, yeah, great recipes. Yeah. Really fun recipes that are absolutely delicious. And if you guys have, I don't work with Cut the Carbs, just so you guys know. But I'm obsessed with them because they can roll up and get nice and crunchy for pizzas. And there's so much you can do with them. You have to order them. We have to order them online because they're really fresh. They don't carry them in the stores. So that's where I order them is online. I do not work with them. I have no ties. We order them when they run out. So I just one day I saw an Instagram ad and I was like, holy smokes, I have to get these. And I fell in love. So those things have really changed my life. So. Maybe they will. Somebody, I'm, as you see on my Instagram, I make a million recipes. People are like, do you work with them? No, I don't work with them. I would, but I don't. Uh, so find delicious things. Like you can make nachos out of those. Find delicious things. Tweak all the like so-called bad foods and make them healthier. That's all you got to do. A lot of tweaking. A lot. Tweaking, twerking, all of it combined. Hey, have a wonderful night day, afternoon. Thanks for listening. Thanks for sticking around. Make sure to click subscribe on uh, both uh, YouTube and on Apple Podcasts. Make sure you get our latest episodes. And I hope you guys have a happy uh, season eating healthy. Make sure you guys leave a comment below what you think, what tips, what tips and tricks you use. Maybe you guys have something. Make sure you comment about how much you like my hat. Whatever. But make sure you leave some tips down there that you that work for you, because I would love to hear all your guys' tips and everybody else would love to read the comments because there's probably something else that's out there. They're like, wow, that's amazing. So share away, baby. Have a wonderful evening. Bye, everybody. Bye.